Hey, this is John Mulder with Premier Guitar. I'm with William Keegan of Together Pangea. Straight from LA to 615. Uh -huh. Maybe not straight. There were no, a couple no. stops in between. Like 10 or 12 stops. <laughs> like 20, yeah. yeah. Long drive. <laughs> yeah. Glad you broke it up a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Hey, well, let's talk, talk about breaking up. Let's hear about this guitar right here that you've been. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, I've been playing this for, I think, three, four years or something. High miles on that guitar. Yeah, and it's a 91 Strat. It's a Mexican Strat, 91. God. Uh, I got it on Craigslist for 50 bucks. Really? Yeah, and I just put uh, Texas Special pickups in it. Huh. Um, and then that's pretty much all I did to it. It's, like, I got it because when I played it, it just felt right. Right. And I haven't found a guitar that felt as good. God, so it's I just. It's Hold amazing it. it's held up that well because you really kind of bludgeon that thing when you're yeah, playing. Yeah, it holds up great. Yeah. I use like a light pick to make sure I don't like break strings and stuff. Yeah. So even I can play as hard as I want and I won't. Yeah, won't good idea. Yeah. How, so is, um, how often do you change strings on this? Because this is your, this is just the, you play this, this guitar this is, all night. Yeah, this is my one guitar and I play it all tour. Um, I don't, I change the strings maybe every week. Really? Yeah, yeah I like you, let them. I'll let them go as, as long yeah. as they can go. Yeah, just yeah. before that breaking point. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Good. What? what switch them over. Have a favorite brand gauge? Uh, Ernie Ball, just super slinky. Okay. Uh, they're tens, I think. Yeah. yeah. Very cool, man. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, it's a, it's a testimony to how well those things hold up. Yeah, and it feels it just feels right in my hand. I don't yeah. know. That's yeah. all I look for in a guitar, pretty huh. much. I can, yeah. you know, because I can finagle with anything else. Sure. And, it, you know, just hearing you guys, it really cuts in the mix. So, yeah. you know, what else could cool. you want? Okay, well, speaking of cutting in the mix, let's hear about this bad boy. He's hearing it come right off the stage. What are you running here? All right, so this is another Craigslist thing. I was using, uh, like, a twin reverb for yeah. a while, and I liked it a lot. Yeah. But uh, a friend of mine had a music man that was a, um, a combo amp. Yeah. And I thought it just sounded just really, you know, kind of bright and clear and all the stuff that I yeah. like. Yeah. So I was looking on Craigslist and I found this and it was like 200 bucks. Really? You know what? No synchronicity. Last night I saw one on Craigslist, this amp for 500 bucks. Yeah. And I think they're like, people are looking for them a lot more. Yeah, they're days. kind of desirable now. I mean, yeah. they're, they're awesome amps. Yeah, they sound great, and I use the distortion on a lot, just the uh, the gain. Yeah, as my distortion. Right. I think isn't it a? I think they did it almost a little bit backwards. I think it's like a, a tube power amp uh -huh. and a and a um, and a solid state preamp. I think right. that's what they did on this. Right. Is that? Um, right? I'm not even certain about that. Yeah. Do you uh, know what year this one is? I've never been able to really find out. I don't know how easy it is to find out what year it is. Yeah, I think I. It's old. Yeah, it says, uh, yeah, yeah. It says it right there. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It says it right there. Of course, they weren't formed until the 70s, but yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so have you done anything to it, to monitor it at all? Or, uh? I had to get new tubes immediately yeah, when sure. I picked it up. And since then, I've actually, I've taken it on tour like, I don't know, eight times. God, and that's great. Nothing's ever happened. It's just like a workhorse. Good for you, man. That's yeah, great. Yeah, it still sounds as good as it dead when I got it. Great, and you're running into this big old Fender 412, huh? Yeah, just Fender 412s. Uh, I'm not even sure what the speakers are. Yeah, yeah, that's great. I love that kind of punk rock plug in. Who yeah. cares? It's on. As long as you can hear it <laughs> and like, you know, it sounds decent. Like, yeah. It's almost like you can play a beat up old acoustic guitar as long as you know how to play. Right. You can get your point across. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, very cool. Well, let's hey, let's uh, look at this modest pedal board. Um, so the pedal board itself is a, it's a Gator pedal board. I like for a bunch of years didn't use a pedal board at all. Just had them. I just had them all just <laughs> yeah. all over the place. It's yeah. horrible. I don't know how I did that, but I did it for a long time. But I yeah. got this and it's great, and it comes in like a nice sturdy case. Oh, cool. That I really like. Cool. Um, so I start with the tuner. Okay, cool. It's a TC Electronic Polytune. Okay, gotta um, have it, cool. Yeah, uh, that's just the first thing up. Yeah. Uh, second thing I use is a, it's also TC Electronic, it's a spark, it's like a little little guy. It's huh. just a volume pedal. Oh, okay, so, so just boost you for solos boost. and stuff like yeah, that? Yeah, exactly. Because uh, I use the, uh, the distortion on the amp. Yeah, so basically you yeah. dial in your principal tone there. And, and then this is just straight give you a little volume. bit more. Okay, yeah. cool. Um, 
Next to that, I got a Pog. Um, and I don't actually use it that much right now. Yeah. But it's for like, we had some parts in the recording that I doubled in different octaves, but yeah. I, I didn't use the pedal for the recording. So this is like me trying to- The live cheat. Live. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I mean, it sounds, What yeah, they're cool. They're cool. Yeah, yeah that's great. Um, and the last is a DD6 digital delay. It's a boss. Tried and true. Yeah, it just gives like the guitar space. Sure. And what are you powering everything with? Um, I guess it's just just some wall wart, some yeah. nondescript wall wart. Yeah, because it's only you know yeah. I only got four things on. Oh yeah, here. yeah, Seems that'll like just daisy chained it. And it's totally, you know, it's quiet, clean. Yeah, that's yeah. great, man. Yeah. Great. Works great. Well, good, man. Well, uh, we're going to get to your bandmates, but enjoy the never ending tour. All right. Yeah, thanks, thanks a lot, man. man. Hey, now I'm with Together Pangea bassist Danny Bankston. Danny, thanks for joining us, man. Thank you. Let's hear about this badass Rick you're playing. It's a uh, Maple Glow 4003. I got it uh, on reverb.com when I was in Belgium. Really? Yeah. Well, no, that's actually pretty <laughs> cool. I like been, we had actually like just, I'd always wanted a Rickenbacker and we did a session in London and there was a Rickenbacker in the studio. And a couple weeks later, I just, I had a little bit of extra money and I pulled the trigger in my friend's apartment in Belgium. Yeah, very cool. Yeah. And I just, I mean, I don't know, I, Reverb just said it was a good deal and you know. Yeah. I, I, it was basically brand new. There was like one owner who said he'd only played it like twice live. So. Wow, what, um, do you know what year it is? I think it's a 2013 or 14. Wow, very like cool. That. It's a new one. A Flemish Rick. Yeah, it's yeah. new. And I w kind of wanted to get something new. I'm into like, I'd sort of rather spend my money on something nice and new and then have it get beat up by me. Yeah, yeah, you put the mileage on it. Yeah. So was it a bit of an adjustment playing the Rick as far as like where your hand lays and everything? A little bit and dealing with this. Right, They're, they feel weird. If it you kind of like, it was like kind of, kind of painful for a little while and you just kind of have to learn how to like kind of play a little more down here. Yeah. Whereas like on the, the fenders or for a long time I was playing a, uh, a Gibson SG. Oh which yeah. Which is a much smaller. Oh, those are like, they, they're just yeah. like tiny. They're almost yeah. like a big guitar. Yeah, and yeah. I had a few of the Epiphone SGs before I got a Gibson one, and yeah, yeah, that was my thing for a while, and then, yeah. Yeah. I just made the move. To yeah, this guy. very killer. Now, let me grab your other bass. Yeah. This is As a the one you've been. 2017 P bass. Got this uh, local Nashville fuzz strap right here. Oh, nice. Shout out to them. Yeah, very cool. Um, and yeah, the P bass is great, man. We just got, we're just lucky enough for Fender to hook us up with some stuff. Mm, very cool. And uh, I kind of just alternate based on what I'm feeling that day. Yeah, so it's not really per song, just kind of just whatever you're... Just whatever I'm feeling that yeah. day. Yeah, okay, very cool, yeah. man. Very cool, okay, and then your amp. Yeah, uh, this is a 1978 TV <laughs> Mark III bass head. Oh, that's great. Have you had it long? Um, maybe coming up on two years, probably. Huh, cool. I was in a, I was playing a music man, like much like your much band like mates. the other folks in my band for a long time. Well, I, I had that one probably for two or three years, and um, honestly, I just kind of my first ever bass amp was a PV bass amp. I always liked how dirty they were, and then. I'd forgotten that there were these really cool ones from the late 70s. Yeah. And a friend of mine had one. I played out of it, and I was just really stoked on the sound. And I uh, had to spend, I had to get my Music Man fixed twice. And every time it was, you know, a couple hundred bucks to get fixed because they're sure. just old, Tubes you know, beautiful old tube machines, you know? So yeah. it's like, um, I, yeah, so I just kind of figured I'd get something tough a little tougher and you know that had a cool sound that I was into and uh, yeah I, I basically I was like if I can sell my music man to a friend and find this bass amp that I want like I'll do it and I went and found this on Craigslist this in the bottom cab for 
$200. Gr for basically the price of maintenance on your old one. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And um, it's been solid. It, it's never had any problems. I don't think you can kill these. I've had I a friend <laughs> say he dropped it down a flight of stairs and it's still, yeah. you know, still as good as ever. Yeah. So. And there's something, you know, people kind of hate on solid state, but there's something about solid state, particularly when you turn it up, that yeah. just feels cool, man. I like, yeah, I'm yeah. a very big fan of this amp. And um, very like cool. I said, I'd like always kind of been chasing, like the first bass amp that I used was a really shitty old PV, like 115 that our friend loaned us. Yeah. And um, there's just, I'd always have to crank it, like everything all the way up because everyone else's <laughs> yeah. amps were louder. Yeah. And I liked something about that sound and yeah, never really been able to find that sound. And then I just found a, a better, yeah, yeah, a, a, louder. Older, a louder, older version <laughs> yeah, of that yeah. PV. And Very cool. I'm really into it. It's cool. So yeah. this is a PV15 down here, right? Yeah, apparently the original owner, I think it was originally a, a 215. Um, this is like the whole original, like it had one owner since the 70s. Oh, how cool. And apparently the guy, it was, uh, I bought it off of the uh, sister of the original owner, the guy had like just passed away and she oh. was like slowly getting rid of his stuff. And um, he actually cut this, and he like opened it up, you can see like some parts on the back. He took it, he cut it in half and made it a 115 and put a new grill on it and everything. How <laughs> um, oh, cool. But yeah, the whole thing, I mean, you know, it's 200 bucks, That's it's not done me man. wrong. I had this uh, Fender cab from my previous setup. Yeah, and, and it's a uh, 410 looks like? Yeah, it's like. 410. And when we are in Europe, I toured with a 410, 115, like, yeah. Anyway, so it's it's is perfect. Yeah. And I love it. And we finally have a, a van big enough on this tour that I can <laughs> bring them both. Very cool. Okay. And then your your very humble pedal board. You've got one <laughs> one big muff. Yeah. And this uh if you look closely right here, this uh it's a bass big muff. Yeah, I've got not this seen little one. switch right here. And that switch turns on a bass boost. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, let's hear that. The regular boy. Big Muff doesn't have that. Let's hear this. So. Uh, the yeah. Yeah. Nice. Just for like the, I mostly use it on the old songs of ours where I used we recorded a studio with our buddy Andrew Schubert and he had a whole lot of crazy pedals at the studio he used to work at and we like pretty much our f whole first album has like fuzz on the bass the whole time. So yeah, I use it in the old songs and then I use it in some choruses of the new songs. But cool. Other than that, I mean, this thing has the I can go to the treble, and it's like pretty dirty. It's on. It's already pretty. Yeah. Know, I, right. So. Yeah, my my pants stand yeah. by these hands. <laughs> my pants are like literally yeah. shaking. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, cool, that's it, man. man. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what a what a great lean, mean, emphasis on mean rig. That yeah. sounds great. It's uh, it does its job, and yeah, love it. Cool, man. Pleasure to meet you, man. All the best. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Now we're with Roland Cosio of Together Pangea. Roland, thanks for joining us, man. Hey, hey man. Okay, so you're in the Fender world right now. Yes, I am. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You guys are big Fender fans. That's yeah, great. Yeah, for sure. Well, let's hear about this one. Um, okay, so this is my first guitar that I got when I was 14. Really good for you. So man. I still have it. It's still in good shape. It's been kind of being up through, you know, throughout the years, it's been like thrown around and stuff. But sure. It's still good. Um, I treat it a lot better now since I'm older. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, this guitar, um, yeah, I, I, I always switch with my other guitar. I mean, I, I go back and forth. It just depends how I feel sure. on the night, you know? Yeah. So, um, but yeah, this is still like, I still love this guitar a lot. It has um, Tex, Tex-Mex. Okay. Max pickups. Did did it come with those or did you no, change? No, I, I actually changed them. Okay, yeah. cool. Made any other? No, it's a two thousand one wow. or, or two thousand, I think. So when you bought it, was it new or was it a use? It was actually new in Guitar Center. Oh, very cool. Yeah, my mom, my mom bought it as a present. So, oh, yeah. good mom. Yeah, it's a good investment, <laughs> mom. Way to go. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, very cool. My mom got me my guitar, so yeah, very cool. Cool. That's awesome, man. Okay, so that is, that's your tried and true old friend. And then this one over here. Uh, my Fender 
This is a Fender Lead 2. I remember these, these yeah. These things are actually uh, pretty heavy. It's God, small, but it's really heavy. Yeah, like a big chunk of yeah, wood, Yeah, it's like man. a Mustang. Uh, and uh, it's a short scale, too, so. Wow. Yeah, it's supposedly it's supposed to be like a mix of like a Strat and a Tele. Huh. Um, it's definitely a, has a bright sound to it. Um, it has a, these switches. So like this switch changes from, it's like a strat, so you can use the bridge and then you can change it to the middle and use both and then use the, the neck pickup. And then this switch here is kind of like a kill switch where it kills um, this one actually, I think. Huh, so do you ever accidentally turn it off mid gig? Yeah, I do actually, yeah, <laughs> yeah for I sure, I definitely I like, Got a yeah, some weird sounds. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I I would definitely accidentally if I had the kill switch, I would accidentally engage it all the time. Yeah, it's a. Uh, I like I really like this guitar a lot. It's really different. From, yeah, they're cool. Did, yeah. Is it an adjustment going from the that shorter scale to your strat? Uh, to take a few songs to kind of get it under your fingers. Uh, yeah, it took me like I had this guitar now for like a year, I'd say. Um, I'm actually getting used to it with the, yeah. the change from this guitar to that guitar. So sure, yeah, yeah. So what uh, strings do you put on it? Um, for both, I use the same strings. Um, uh, just uh, Ernie Ball uh, nine gauge uh, hybrids. Okay, cool, cool. All right, that covers guitars. Let's talk about the amp. Much like your uh, bandmates. You're a you're a music man. Yeah, <laughs> I really like music mans. Yeah, very cool. Um, so yeah, that's a music man HD one fifty. Um, it's a very powerful amp. It's one of like the one the most powerful music man heads you can get. Do you know what year it is? I think it's a nineteen eighty. Cool. Yeah, and um, it's also a bass head. Oh, so great. there's the bass side over here on the right. Oh yeah. And the guitar is on the left, so. That's cool. Yeah, very cool. And it has, you know, like uh, all music mans are all hybrids, I believe. So yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's cool. And you're you're uh, using the speakers out of this PV Classic, right? Yes, I am using a two twelve combo PV Classic, but I'm using the speakers out of it. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. So if and then if this thing ever dies, you've got that one yeah, exactly. to switch and to. And I changed the speakers in that too. I pushed the Lushtons in it. Oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it sounds great, man. That's a, that's a great rig. And do you run it pretty dirty or do you get your dirt from your pedals? I get kind of a dirty, I put it on four. I yeah. put the volume on four, master on four. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, um, so and then a little I get, bit of dirt. Yeah. Well, yeah. Good. Well, that actually switches to our uh, pedal. That's our pedal segue. Let's talk about this. So what are you running into? So there's a 70s Big Muff. Oh, that's cool, man. Um, God, I forgot how big those are. Yeah, they're, <laughs> this thing is crazy. Um, it's like the size of a lunchbox. Yeah. <laughs> it's, my, it's definitely my favorite pedal for sure. Um, yeah. It has a lot of low pass, which I really like in fuzz pedal, pedals. Yeah. Um, there's that pedal, and then I have this uh, this Ibanez Tube Screamer. Yeah. Or it's, a, it's called a Turbo Tube Screamer. Sure. And it's a mix of all the Tube Screamers that came out in the past years. Cool. So I use that as like kind of a more boost for like more subtle so solos. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. And then I have this uh, LPB1 Boost. I just have that running the entire time. Okay, just give your amp a little something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then I have this uh, Holy Grail reverb pedal. Sure. Um, yeah, I've had that forever too. <laughs> it has a spring and hall and flurb. Yeah, this sound great. Yeah. And then I just started using this Chorus Space D pedal. It's a Behringer. Oh yeah, yeah. It's like a pretty cheap pedal. But I actually used this in the studio for the pan the last Pangea record. Um, it has a weird, like it says right there, it's like spacey chorus. Man, I gotta hear it. Let's hear yeah, that. Yeah, sure. Let's it's, hear that weirdo right now. It's pretty ridiculous. Yeah, curve it. Yeah. 
It's great, man. Yeah. It, that is a great. It's, I mean, that's on the record, so. Yeah, it's, it's a perfect classic weirdo chorus. Yeah, yeah. I really like it. Um, yeah, that's great. And then the next pedal, I use this for some of this. I think just one song actually. It's just a tremolo. Oh yeah. It's your classic boss tremolo pedal. So. Yeah, that's great, man. I've got to hear the big muff too. Oh yeah. Yeah, of let's course. hear this big nasty thing. This thing has yeah for sure All right. <laughs> sustain yeah really, that's um, great yeah. that's great and now try the turbo uh ibanez so this is just like a little boost yeah well kind of have it up a little bit sure but i usually it's just very do, you, do you ever plug in or do you ever turn on all of them together, like like just go full. Yeah, when when it gets towards the end of the set and we're just sure. like messing around and yeah, you know, for crazy just, space yeah, yeah. noises. Exactly. Yeah. And Great. then this thing, I mean. Yeah. Since the music man doesn't have a reverb, I use I use that. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Well, man, sounds great. Pleasure meeting you. Yeah, you yeah enjoy that uh, that long tour, man. Yeah, man. Thanks. Okay. Right. Peace out. All right. Don't forget to sign up for PG Perks, your all-access pass to exclusive gear giveaways and discounts on PremierGuitar.com.